Hello everyone, my name is Zura and this is my one of the first videos um, on YouTube and today's topic is JavaScript hoisting, which is really really tricky thing for some developers until they finally understand how it works and after they understand how it works then everything gets clear but sometimes developers blame to the JavaScript because they don't understand how actually hoisting works. Look at the following code and um, can you guess what will be the output of the console log statement? It will be undefined. If you know why it's undefined, probably you know how actually hosting works. But if you don't know why it's undefined, you need to continue watching to this video. So we have an if function, immediately invoked function expression, which has its own scope. And we have a outer uh, scope, global scope variable A, which is three. When we are declaring a variable inside any kind of scope, you can imagine that there are two steps in the in the processing of the JavaScript file. First step is a compilation phase, and the second step is an execution phase. So, in any kind of JavaScript code you can imagine that it's processed twice. First, the engine, the compiler, processes the JavaScript code and finds out all variable declarations and function declarations. And the function declarations and variable declarations are handled as a first thing in the compilation phase. After the compilation phase is finished, then it comes to the execution phase, and in execution phase, there are always already declared variables and functions in that particular scope. For example, this, this really simple statement, var a equals 3, if you think that this is a single statement, uh, you are not quite right, because actually these, these are two statements. So var a, which is handled at a compilation phase, and then on an execution phase, A equals 3. You can consider every JavaScript code like this, every variable, variable declaration and assignment. So, whenever you see a variable declaration and assignment at the same time, you can consider that variable declaration is handled as always the first thing at the compilation phase, and the compilation phase processes the whole file, not single statement. So the whole file is compiled uh, and variables and functions are declared at the top, and then from the first line again to the end of the file, engine starts working and executes statements. So var a equals 3 is two statements, are two statements, var a and a equals 3. And in this case, we have a function, if a function, which has its own scope. So we have declared a variable inside this scope, if a scope. So var a equals 5, this is, this a is declared in the if a scope. So on the compilation phase, var a is declared and it's interpreted like this. The compilation continues, it find another variable declaration, take it and put it at the top of the scope, var a. So on compilation phase, compiler searches all variable and function declarations and handles them and does nothing else just handles variable and function declarations. And when the compilation phase is finished, then engine starts working and engine handles all execution of code. So the code previously, what's written previously is interpreted like this. So var a, a equals three, and then we have ify var a console log a, 
and a equals 5. It's clear, right, that now when you look code like this, it's clear that a here is undefined because we are declaring a new variable inside function and we don't assign anything to it, meaning that this is undeclared. This is undefined. The code is absolutely the same. Hoisting works, declaring a variable uh, using var keyword works on a uh, scope, on a function scope level, meaning that you can have a variable declared in an if statement and you can actually use that variable outside of the if statement So, now the output will be 4. If you type here false, the output will be undefined because B actually exists. It was declared on a compilation phase until engine discovered this if statement. Compiler discovered all of our statements and declared them in the corresponding scope. In this scope, both var a, both a and b are declared in the global scope. But if we re replace uh, var with a let keyword, then we have an error because comparison with the var to let var declares a variable in the function scope and the let declares a variable in the block scope. So if has its own block scope, so b is declared here and dies here. So when we run console log statement, we don't see b at all, even if we have here true. There are many videos um, des describing hoisting, but uh, not all of them talk uh, what happens when we have a same variable declared as a normal variable and as a function. In the following code, the type of the foo identifier is actually a number. This happens because first, on the compilation phase, functions are uh, declared and then variables are declared. So functions on the declaration phase, on the compilation phase, when variables and functions are declared, functions have high precedence. So first functions are declared, then variables. And we need to interpret, and here uh, it's it's not pretty clear right now why the type of foo is a number, maybe for you, but let's rephrase the following uh, script as it would be after compilation phase. First functions are declared, then variables are declared, and at that phase compilation ends and on an execution phase we have basically these two lines to execute foo equals three and console log type of foo it's obvious that after declaration is done and function foo and variable foo are declared foo we are assigning number to foo and when we are assigning number to foo it changes the type if we write the console log statement before foo equals three, the type of foo would be function. And then we are assigning three to foo and then type of foo is number. So declaring uh, the same identifier twice uh, generally is not a good practice and you should always avoid it 
but you should at least know how how it works when you find this similar situation to someone else's code. What happens when you have uh, functions with the same name declared more than once? In this case, the second and third and other declarations will just overwrite the previous declarations. So in this case, the output of the execution of full function will be just five. So what you need to remember from hoisting, uh, probably the most important thing is that uh, on the script handling, there are actually two phases. First is a compilation phase where compiler finds all declarations using var keyword and all function declarations and hoists them at the top of the scope. And in, in this hoisting phase, first functions are hoisted and then variable declarations are hoisted. This ends my video. Probably you have now understanding how hoisting works. Probably my video helped you. Um, if you liked my video, click on the like button. If you want to get more from me, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time.